Hello from Littlefield Lake. That's La Sombra, my 06 Honda Shadow Spirit. 67 cubic inch, that's 1100 cc's. 67 horsepower, 67 foot pounds of torque. Lots of fun to drive, not the most powerful thing in the world. Dependable as a rock. Love that thing. All right, I'd like to go over some of our equipment. Uh, La Sombra is a uh, V twin. 1100 cc she's carbureted let's shut her off now we can hear us a little better she has a uh, single front disc on the front bag wheels liquid cooled of course engine um, non-adjustable front forks I've got this uh, Memphis shade removable uh, wind protector on there which when I got the bike I really didn't like that but now that I have it and have used it for all these years, it, I just love the thing. I wouldn't have it without it. I've taken it off a few times, but no, you know, I always put it back on. Um, the controls are forward, which was a hard thing for me in the beginning. But, uh, you know, within a month, I it was just normal. It wasn't a problem at all. Shaft drive on the back. Um, Add-ons were this. They're Honda from Honda backrest and uh, luggage rack normal shocks on the back they're adjustable five-way I have them uh, I think on the second lowest setting so they're nice and soft the bike is comfortable standard exhaust I don't like loud motorcycles I have a Harley which is very loud it's got drag pipes if I want to make noise I'll get that out um, things that I've done up here I ride I'll do a lot of uh, five six hundred mile days so I've got this thing here I don't know what they're called, but it, it really helps a lot on those long rides. And I've got this uh, kind of a cruise control, which is fine on long flat highways or if it's not very hilly, um, or if you just have to do something with your right hand, your right hand gets tired. It's not a real cruise control. It just kind of holds it there. I put this on when I broke my speedometer cable. I don't really use it. I, when my speedo cable was broken, I, uh, I used it. I used my phone as the, uh, Speedometer, so that's why I put that there. Uh, since that has happened, I since I've repaired that, I, I don't use it anymore. Uh, so the gauges, it's got no. There's no tack. It's got this one speedometer. Works all right. I wish the idiot lights were up here. You know, at least the blinker light. But yeah, they're not. They're good enough. Um, the light in this is a little dim at night. The gauge light. Uh, controls, you know, the normal thing. High low for the light, headlight, blinkers, horn. Um, this bike has carburetors, so it still has choke, which works great, by the way. Over here, we've got the start and, of course, the kill switch. Let's see, what else can I tell you all about her? She works great. Like I said, I've, well, I've never had any real mechanical problems with her. So I, I got the La Sombra, that's what I call her, La Sombra, with, uh, I got her very cheap, she wouldn't run right, the, uh, she'd run fine on a full tank of gas, but she wouldn't run at all, she'd, uh, if, if the tank was low, she wouldn't start, very hard starting. I bought her a couple thousand bucks, I checked her out, she had a bad fuel pump, so we uh, put a new one of those on, haven't any trouble with her since. We are at the location of the first train robbery in the Midwest. <laughs> Yahoo! A few miles down the road now, we're at Lake Anita State Park. There she is, old Sombra. Uh, a little bit about her uh, comfort. Um, I think it's a very comfortable bike. Uh, handling in town, okay, let, let's start with the driveway. In your driveway, she's kind of heavy. Uh, she pushes easy, but uh, you know, you got to have that activation energy enough once you get her going she goes pretty good she is uh, has a very low center of gravity so she pushes not as not as low as my sportster but you know low enough um, around town she drives okay she's not nimble by any means but she's she handles good enough um, I think she's a pretty good bike around town has torque from the bottom on up I mean I've never killed this thing first or second gear from a dead stop um, not even close. She just has all kinds of torque. 67 foot-pounds of torque, but it must start very low. It doesn't have a tax. So I don't know what, you know, 
what she's tackling when she's doing any of that. But uh, anyway, um, I think she works best on the highway going, uh, you know, 60 to 80 miles an hour, 60 to 75, let's say, 55 to 75. I do a lot of that kind of road, you know, old two-lane blacktop road riding, and uh, she just eats that stuff up. I get 50 miles a gallon when I'm going those speeds. You know, uh, if I'm less than, if I'm 65 or under, I get 50, 50 51 miles a gallon. Otherwise, I'll get in the 40s. Um, she'll snap up to 70, 75, 80, just in a heartbeat, especially from 70 to 80. She just goes instantly. Um, from 60 to 70, very quick as well. The uh, bike does very well. You get her on the interstate. I think she performs well on the interstate, but she has, uh, she does fine on regular interstate, up to, let's say, 80, 85 miles an hour. Gas mileage goes down to about 40, 41. Uh, the only two times I've wished the bike had more speed, I was in Minneapolis a while back. I've gone through Minneapolis a couple times, 35 East. And uh, one day in particular, the traffic was insane. There's, that's about 40 miles of road to get through there. And the uh, traffic was going 90, 90, 90, 95, 100 miles an hour the whole time. Then I got to the north end of town. I thought it'd slow down. It didn't. It didn't, it didn't slow down all the way to Sandstone, um, which is probably 70 or 80 miles more. And uh, this bike tops out at 100 miles an hour. The speedometer will say 106, 111, but my digital thing on my phone never breaks 100. It gets right up to 100 and it stays there. I think uh, Honda has them speed limited. But uh, hey, what do you do, right? But it, it at those speeds, she's comfortable. She is predictable. She's rock solid like on a rail. Um, she works pretty dang good. All right, let's keep on going. All righty, we're in Atlantic, Iowa now. Uh, a little bit more about comfort on that bike. Two up riding. I uh, I've done a lot of that this summer. I put about 20,000 miles on that bike this summer, 18,000 actually, a couple thousand on my Harley. Uh, two up riding. The rider, the front rider sits in the center of the bike. It's got a very long wheelbase, and very comfortable ride. Get somebody in the back and it actually gets more comfortable. Uh, I had the shocks on the second to the lowest setting. So they seem, that seems to work normal for, good for me. Uh, get somebody in the back and I've had all different size passengers on, my, on the back. It uh, works very well. Um, other things to note about the uh, way that bike behaves is the um, the bike acts a lot like a I drove a friend's soft tail this summer and uh, I would say they copied the soft tail to make the controls the, the, the way the clutch feels the brakes feel the you know the levers the shifter everything it is very much like that bike it even behaves the same way on the highway and on the road anyway let's keep going We are in Elkhorn, Iowa now. That's the Danish windmill back there. They imported that all the way from wherever Danish windmills come from and uh, rebuilt the whole thing. It's a couple hundred years old. Uh, they, I think they built it here in the early 70s, relocated it here in the early 70s. Anyway, there's old Asambra. Uh Let's talk about maintenance with her a little bit now. Um, there's very little maintenance to do on a bike like that. She is, uh, has no, there's no valve adjustments to do to it. She uh, has automatic cam, cam chain tensioners, um, oil changes every uh, 8,000 miles. You're supposed to replace the valves, or I'm sorry, you're supposed to replace the uh, spark plugs at that time. What I do is every 5,000 I change the oil, every 10,000 I change the spark plugs. Uh, there isn't really much else you have to do to her. Air filter once a year, you know, I, I put about 18,000 on her this year, so she's due. The air filter is under the seat. You have to remove the seat to put that in. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, you do have to use wrenches. Um, I've ran through uh, three back tires and two front tires this season. I had two Dunlop 404s. I was getting about 9,000 out of those. And I just put on a Commander, a set of Commander 3s, Michelin Commander 3s, front and back. I've got about 8,000 on the back tire and uh, 2,000 on the front. And uh, they seem to be wearing really well. I'm hoping to get 15 to 20 thousand, 15 to 20 thousand out of the back one, and uh, who, who knows what out of the front. But uh, other maintenance, keep her washed, you know, change the light. I had to change the taillight bulbs and things like that, but nothing uh, major. I checked the brakes uh, when I put the front tire on and the back tire, and they were uh, doing just fine. Actually, they weren't even close. 
the uh, thing is I run so many highway, I'll, I'll do 600, 700, you know, about well, five, six, 700 miles in a day on that bike. So a lot of my miles are highway. So uh, the brakes really do get a break. <laughs> All right, let's keep rolling. There's good old La Sombra. We're at Lake Anita now. We've gone about uh, 85 miles since we started our run today. Uh, let's uh, kind of wrap this up. We're running out of daylight. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, so uh, some other things to talk about with this thing. Vibration. Uh, vibrates over 90. You can tell when you're going 85. It's not that bad. Um, but otherwise it's pretty good. They built in a little bit of vibration, I believe, to uh, mimic the... Uh, I think I said it, they, they've copied a soft tail, is my belief, with this bike, even though it doesn't have a soft tail look. Um, fuel and range. The bike likes, I put the lowest octane gas around here, that's about 87. It uh, performs best with that. I get the best gas mileage. It runs fine. The compression is 8 to 1, so that works, that works good. Range, the tank is, I think it's about, I think they say it's a 4.2 gallon. Um, I'll hit the reserve at uh, 3.4, 3.3, 3.4. So, you know, when you're getting 50 miles a gallon, you get about 150 miles, which is okay. I wish it was a little, I wish I had a little more tank, but I don't. Um, I've gone into a couple headwinds, strong headwinds this year twice. And at that time, I got both those tanks, I got 33 miles a gallon. And it was uh, very disconcerting to be going down the interstate and run out of gas and have to switch to reserve. The uh, second time I was, I, I really am fortunate I didn't run out of gas before I got to the station. Uh, comfort, the bike is, I think, is very comfortable. Like I said, I ride her 600 miles a day, five, six, 700 miles. I think the longest ride I did this year was uh, 675. Speed and power, that's the shortcoming of this bike. I believe it tops out at 100. The speedo will say up to 111, but my uh, digital speedometer says 100. I think they've speed limited the thing. She, uh, that's not a problem ever, except in heavy traffic in the big city. And that's where I ran into the issue with it this year. Uh, Minneapolis traffic was going 100 miles an hour and I was topped out pretty much. And uh, that's very uncomfortable. On a motorcycle you have, you know, speed is really your only uh, asset over everything else. But anyway, enough about that. Pros and cons. <laughs> I love the bike. I did not want to buy this bike. I didn't really care for its looks when I got it. Uh, the bikes that I were looking at, I looked at a Harley 750, which I love that bike. I think that's a beautiful bike. I think this is a better bike. I know the uh, Harley 750 probably has more top end. I think this is probably quicker in the lower end. I think this is also much more dependable than a Harley 750 would have been. Um, I also wanted some V-Stars. I looked at some V-Stars. Three of them, I think. All three of those. The deals fell through. I got this bike at a good deal, and I'm very, happy, very, very happy with it. She does everything right. You know, um, she is the, uh, the one you want to live with all your life kind of bike. I have a Harley Sportster, an Ironhead, the old Ironhead, 76. That bike is like a dirty girlfriend. She'll cost you money, do bad things to you, and uh, you come begging back for more. That the, the Sportster has a lot of spirit. This one is dependable and solid and does everything you uh, really want. How does this bike make you feel? Well, that's interesting. When I first got her, I felt she didn't really have much spirit. I didn't like that about it. But the more I rode her, the more she she just does everything right. Everything. It uh, cruises down the road well. It handles, she handles well. La Sombra does everything just really pretty well. Um, so I feel great about her. I'm going to jump back to the brakes real quick. One other shortcoming of this bike is the brakes. Uh, they don't have a good enough feel, I think. I've ridden a lot of bikes that have really good brake feel. Do the brakes work good in emergencies? Yes. I've had emergency brake several times already, of course, and uh, it, they stop the bike very well. Okay, back to feel. Um, 
I wouldn't trade this bike off for anything. I'm going to wear it out. I just, I love it. I love it. Hey, you know what, guys? I've uh, drugged this out long enough. It's uh, been about 85 miles since I left the house. Maybe more. I'm about 20 or 30 miles away from home. It's cold. It was 45 degrees when I left the house. So uh, I'm going to drive this hot rod around the lake once, and then I'm going to head home. Y'all have a great day. Enjoy.